Hello guys, this is going to be our review for our ledger line lesson. So first we have our music staff. You need to make sure that you have your treble clef on your music staff so you know what our names are. So you should already know that every good boy does fine and spaces spell face. Remember that each of these letters are in alphabetical order. Just follow them in the right way. You'll see that we have A, B, C, D, E, F. So now we have what we call ledger lines. Ledger lines are small lines that are above or below the staff. You might have a note that's on that line or in a space that is next to one of those lines. So you might have a note that's all the way up here, or you might have a note that's all the way down here. The question is, how do we name those notes? Well, we have to use our alphabet to name those notes. So if we had a note that was right above the F, right here, we'd, it would be G. And once we get to G, we start over at A. So we have A, B in that space, C on that line. This note is D. So it's pretty simple going up the alphabet. The one thing that students tend to do is they skip a line or a space and they'll get off a letter. Make sure that you are naming every single line and space until the one that you want. It gets a little bit more complex when we have to go backwards in the alphabet. Anytime you go down in your note naming, you have to go backwards in the alphabet. So remember, if you learn GFE, DCBA, it will help you. So here we have that. We know that this bottom line is E. So space would be D. Line would be C. Space would be B. So this is A. Take a moment. I'm going to draw a note on a ledger line. And I want you to see if you can't figure out what the name of that note would be. Ask yourself, what's the highest note? We already know. For sure, we know that this is F. This would be, and then this would be, this would be, that would be. This is, so the top one, if you have been following along, is E. We had F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Now let's challenge you and give you a note that's below. It's one letter line below. We know this is E. So going backwards in alphabet, E. Two backwards would be C. Remember, these can also be in spaces. So you could have a note that is, oh, excuse me. A note that is here. So to start at E and backwards in alphabet, D, C, B, A. Once you get to A, go back to G. That should explain how to find your letter line notes.